the user Johnny here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Adidas Ultra Boost collaboration with Eddie Huang. Adidas is no stranger to celebrating Chinese New Year's as each year the brand puts out various sneakers to celebrate. What is strange is the fact that Adidas in a sense has released two Ultra Boosts in the Chinese New Year's colorway. Adidas has the 4.0 and then they have this Ultra Boost 1.0. The only justification that I can think of is that Adidas considers this 1.0 to be a collaboration and it just happened that Eddie decided to use Chinese New Year's as his inspiration for his sneaker. The entire sneaker is covered in this vibrant red. I assume that this primary red upper is paying homage to the red envelope that are handed out during the celebration. The heel and cage of the Ultra Boost use leather rather than plastic and in my opinion it adds a nice texture to the shoe. It's a soft smooth leather and to me it mimics a paper like texture. It's as if they grab a piece of the Chinese New Year's envelope and slapped it onto the shoe. If anyone knows what this says on the heel, feel free to let me know what it represents in the comments down below. This leather is also seen wrapping the toe area of the sneaker. There typically isn't a material on the toe area of the Ultra Boost so this was a nice added feature. The shoes are laced in red but they have a nice touch with gold metal aglets. It's also worth noting that they included two extra laces, one in black and one in a lighter shade of red. Both of these laces also have the gold metal aglets. When looking at the tongue of the sneaker, you will find that it has a nice felt or suede-like material. Depending on which shoe, you will either find a debossed Adidas logo in yellow slash gold or a debossed Panda logo. The debossed Panda logo threw me off because I believe 2019 is the year of the pig, so I expected to see some sort of reference to the pig. I can only assume that the use of the panda is in reference to Eddie. The ankle area of the sneaker is given a different texture than what we're used to seeing on Ultra Boost and it adds a nice contrast to the sneaker. On the back we also find actual pool tabs which is not typically seen. The insole is also unique as you have Chinese boys barbecue printed on them. To round it out, the shoe sits atop the infamous Boost midsole, the outsole is continental, and it is here you will notice another detail in which the torsion system is accented in gold. Presentation was also top notch as the sneaker came in a pullout box with the Adidas and Panda logo and to my surprise the collaboration also included a dust bag. Overall I am happy with the sneaker. Whenever Adidas or a collaborator uses an Ultra Boost 1.0 as their model, I am already 95% sold. In regards to the sneaker, the presentation and details helped fill in that 5% and made this collaboration an easy cop. So that pretty much wraps up my review. Let me know what you guys thought about the sneaker and until next time I'll catch you later.